Hi everyone, Jerome right back here again, and um, I have back up here my um, the image Hubble spacecraft image of the um, the Carina Nebula Power Normal. Okay, um, as you know, I've done um, several multiple other videos pertaining to this nebula mass, um, this gas matter. Whereas I found that there are celestial alien beings, um, um, intelligent forms being depicted in the matter. Um, as further, um, my contention is that um, where there are supposed to be stars created in this mass, that there are actually life forms being created and actually being sent to other worlds and actually cycled back into our worlds in the, f in the form of seeds. Um, I'm suggesting that the Mayans knew this um, and other ancient civilizations knew this, that these per periodic um, 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 seed implants were taking um, part in the world, and I think that this is the reason why the um, the pyramids were built um, um, to withstand um, impacts. Um, some of them had shifting techniques um, incorporated in the, uh, in the in in the engineering um, for um, earthquake and perhaps for impacts of um, of meteorites or celestial objects from space. Um, I suggest that these places were built in a way that they were. Um, not only to withstand time, but to withstand um, impending danger that they knew were coming from space, and this is why they kept meticulous records um, about um, what was going on in the celestial um, um, uh, moments in time. Okay, I mean, um, um, the astronomical um, moments in time. But anyway, now, um, here, this is what I want to show you. I'm going to show you how I how I I'm, I'm going to verify how life is being created and, and sent out. I'm going to I'm going to identify some things. First of all, here we already showed you that this is a celestial depiction of a celestial being. I'm at his neck right here. That's his neck area. Here's his jaw coming around. Up there's his chin coming up. There's his lips, mouth coming up, nose area. Okay, up 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 over top of the forehead. And there's the eye socket. I'm suggesting that this green portion here is showing you there are reptilian beings depicted right here in this portion right here. Okay. Um, forms of life. Okay. I'm telling you that it has a sophisticated but unique pattern that is in sequential order to show you how life is being created. As you can see in here, you start seeing depictions of faces. There is a celestial woman right there, a red-headed woman with her arms outstretched. You see her hand on top of a creature right here. Um, on the back of her, um, her red hair is on the snout of a horse. You turn it in another direction, there's a horned being. Um, over in here, you'll see an ape-like figure off to the end of her hair. But okay, but I'm not going to go over that again. That's all on the um, on my video. What I want to do is I want to concentrate on just this right here. You see that celestial being out of the skull. Okay, here's a half skull here. There's the eye socket. And it has almost like a partial horn coming off the side. There's a wing beam, and I think it represents death in the army. That that um that medallion that you get that where you have a wing being being with wings a wing wings coming out of a skull. But anyway, this wing being the skull, the right arm of the skull comes up right there, and you'll see the wing being formed, the points and all right there, going over the forehead of this figure here, and then the other wing comes around, wrapped around the half skull, comes down, comes down through the clad mat. And it finishes over here, comes back out of the cloud of martyr, and it's right there. Okay? And it's this wing band holding this half skull right here. Now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna bring in what I can show you how good I am with this and what I can actually see. I'm gonna show you what's right here, just in this alone. Okay, I'm gonna bring up my images. Um, and what I'm gonna tell you some of the things that are there, I'm gonna tell you what are there first. The, um, in the, there's the half skull, there's um a triceratops. There's a duck-billed dinosaur, um, the horn bean, which is actually on top right there, oh, right there, right there, and there's a there's a horse. Um, the snout of the horse is actually right. Uh, let me see. I can't see it from here, can I? Uh, no, I can't. Well, I bring I'll bring it up and show you in a minute. But it's, there's a snout of the horse that comes through the cloud matter off the side of the skull. Um, what else do we have? We have a great white shark in there. Um, we have um, an ape um, slash baboon type character. We have and we have um, a sword shark. Okay, I'm going to show you some of these things right quick. Okay, here's a blow up in some of my drawings, and I'm going to show you what I can see. All right, I'm going to have to back it up, I guess, to show you. 
pretty much what we have here. All right. Now, let me get this pinned off to the side. The half skull. There's the half skull right here. All right. Now that being that was coming out of the half skull is right here. Here he is right there. Okay, that's the being that was coming out. Now, um, what can I get without showing you this here? Um, okay, there is, where's my triceratops? Okay, in the half skull, coming into the half skull right here. I'm going to see if I can trace over it with my pencil. Here's the snout of the triceratops. Here's the half skull right here. Coming into the half skull, I'm coming around, there's the mouth of the triceratops. I even have it labeled triceratops. There's the snout, the opening for the snout, triceratops. And the triceratops is morphing other beings coming down this way. This would be the would-be eye of the triceratops right there. Here's the triceratops. And this is a horn right here coming up from the duck dinosaur. Right there, coming up. Okay, that's the horn from the duckbill dinosaur, which is here I have highlighted blue. Here's the duckbill dinosaur right there. There's the duckbill of it right there. Okay, and here's the duckbill dinosaur coming up. And I'm upside down here, people, so you have to bear with me. Okay, and it shows you how all of these beings are morphing each other. And then there's my horn being there. So my duckbill dinosaur is coming down. Here's my half skull over here. And then the Triceratops is coming up this way. It's going then up from the snout up, up, up. And it shows you these beings that were actually created, meaning that this horn being came from the creation and, and, and genetic manipulations of everything you become, you see here. And then it shows you how ultimately the skull was created, which is actually be defined as being with mankind. Now, from the duckbill dinosaur was created the horse there's the head of the horse right there the eye and it shows the horse is now going put penetrating through cloud matter and it's coming out through the other side okay people these morphing images this is what this is all about this is what renaissance artist paintings are about and this is how come I'm able to do this this is this is very unique to be totally honest with you now here's a celestial being right here okay you can see his head and he has his I guess that's his left arm outstretched in a way that as a um as a for like a scope for he's he's using it as a target and uh, for a sight for a, a sight scope okay he has his hand out like like, like well uh, in a way that he's using it to, to actually to target something that's how this arm is outstretched okay and it's outstretched onto the skull right here of this being you see it here it has that hand outstretched right there okay and this is the other skull right here now I want to show you in the second hand that he has up there's a celestial head there okay with his, this would be his right arm up in the air like if he's about to throw this head and that would be back up over in here Okay, and the head actually has faces on it, multiple faces, not just one, not two, several, multiple faces, okay, and it shows you the genetics that are actually being, being, um, being shown, being um, exchanged there, that this being is actually sending out. Okay, people, this is what space is all about. This is what our creation is all about, and this is how life has actually came to be. Um, down here, you have a baboon ape-like creature right here off here you have a great white shark right there you have a sword um, um, a sword head shark right here okay and you have other creatures that are here you'll see them morphing okay people all of this now as complex as this is okay I would not be able to, there's no way that I would actually be able to, to tie all of this together. People, you have celestial beings shown in cloud matter, in space, in our solar system, with creatures depicted, the, face, the, 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 the likenesses of the faces of the creatures that are in our world. Okay? 
I mean, people, this is not no coincidence. And all of that is in this little small area right here. Is in this little small area. Just in this area right here alone. Right here. Along with a bunch of other stuff. Right here. Along with a bunch of other stuff right there. Just all of that, people. Now, I, I could just stop. Just with just the discovery of just the half skull and these creatures right here. That's it. People, I can look into the image and bring you all of this. And I can do this throughout all of space. And what's unique about this is that not only can I do this here, but through each cloud matter mass, I can tie them together and show you the life forms that were created in the sequential order that they were created in, where they came from, where we came from, where they're going, where if they're coming back to us, which in some cases they have, okay, if they're coming back to us, um, what intimate dangers are our planet are in from being receded, and on top of that, people, the likenesses of creatures that you have actually never seen before, based on everything that I am finding, because... Creatures that are actually a spin-off of what's happening here and sent to other parts of the space, I can identify as well, too. Now, this is all very important to everyone because it is my finding that nothing is, everything is recycled, even in death. Your information, everything is being recycled. So even without your physical body, it is my finding that in spirit, you're, you have a place. And to identify with this stuff, to identify where you come from, okay, this is very important. Your identity is stolen from you right now, okay? And there are people of our world, look around you, those Renaissance artist paintings, those biblical paintings, all of that stuff that you can look at and say, what in the world, what would inspire an artist to actually make these kind of drawings? Or where would this, I mean... Were they truly that master a master of minds that they can make those multi-dimensional images and have you sitting in awe wondering what in the world were they thinking when they made it? Christianity doesn't even know where the cross came from. I discovered through here the Carina Nebula on Paranormal and my other findings. There's a cross right here that the cross means cross-referencing of genetics. Now how would I know that people? How in the world would I know what the cross represents? The cross, you never heard it before, except from me. The cross referencing of genetics, that's what the cross means. Exactly what the symbol is, a cross. The cross referencing of not only celestial and alien genetics, but human genetics as well. Too. These cross referencings are still being done today. And this is why I'm telling you that this is why you have that high number of molestation, um, um, molestation of these of these boys and girls and in, in, um, in these Catholic groups and in, in the religion. This stuff, people, is what this is all about. OK, I can prove it. One day I'm going to have a chance to do so. I would not be mentioning people if I could not back up what I would be saying. You know what I mean? And this here is compelling. All right. Here I have a cloud matter mass. That's in space. Not of our world. In space. This is alien people. Celestial. And you see me pointing out things that are here that are just absolutely phenomenal. You know what I mean? And there's other stuff that is here. Okay? That you can check out my other videos. This, I think, is my 30 plus um, one video here. You can check these videos out, people, and look into them. Once you start looking into them and I start showing you these objects, you can look and you can start seeing things for yourself. But... People, I've been reading these things for almost three plus years now. I know exactly what they mean, where they're going, and what they represent. Okay? These beings are for real. Alright? They're for real. Here are the likenesses. These are prehistoric creatures that were once on our world. There's the duck billed dinosaur right there. There's a horn coming up. There's a half a skull. There's a triceratops right there. Okay? There's a horn beam right here. Okay, they are showing you how life forms were created. Okay, I can do this with everything, people. Okay, there is an ape, great white, there's a reptilian being over here. So I didn't identify one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven beings for you right here, people. Just in this small piece right here, just right here. That's it, right there in that circle. 
of a horn being with a skull. People, we are in serious trouble. If you don't actually, you, you need to know this stuff. I'm going to end my video because I'm running out of time. It's too long. You can catch me here on YouTube or on any other of my sites. Look at all my videos, people. Thank you.